As our lives become more and more digital, it's more important than ever to keep your iPhone secure. Hey guys, Rex here with iDrop News, and today we're going through five easy ways you can make your iPhone more secure. First is creating a six-digit password rather than a four-digit password to log into your iPhone. With iOS 9, the default password on your iPhone is six digits instead of four. Although the extra two digits might not seem like a big deal, Apple says that it increases the possible password combinations from 10,000 to 1 million. So to change your password, go to Settings and look for Touch ID and Passcode, and there you can go through the process to set up a new password. Now keep in mind that you can also choose to set up a password that combines both letters and numbers, which is even more secure than the six-digit password. Of course, using Touch ID is still very secure, but it's still important to have a good password. So next is another password one, but this one is making sure that you have a strong Apple ID password. Now this one's pretty self-explanatory, but many people neglect to create a solid password, making their iPhones easy to crack. Now, your Apple ID is important because not only do you use it to make purchases on iTunes, but if someone has access to your Apple ID, they can log in online and really mess up your iPhone and any other Apple devices that you have. So just a few quick ways to make your password more secure. Make sure that you use at least eight characters and use a password that you haven't used for every other internet login that you have. It's always smart to use a password management app like 1Password too, which can generate very good random passwords. All right, next is making your iPhone lock sooner. So if you happen to lose your iPhone or heaven forbid somebody steals it, before the passcode is set to turn on, they will have access to your data immediately. So making your iPhone lock quicker will help make it more secure. So to do this, go to settings, hit touch ID and passcode, and then you'll have the option to change how quickly your iPhone shuts back down. Immediately is the most secure option, but, but if you don't want to have to use Touch ID or type in your passcode constantly, you can choose a shorter time requirement. All right, so next is disabling lock screen options. So even if you've taken the precaution and created a very strong passcode, Siri can still actually share way too much information from the lock screen. So disabling that function will keep your phone more secure in the event you lose it. Of course, there's other things to think about, like text messages popping up on your screen, and even the first section of some of your emails will pop up on your lock screen unless you turn those options off. So if you want your iPhone to be a little bit more private and more secure, you can go to Settings, again go to Touch ID and Passcode, turn off each feature that you want under Allow Access When Locked. Now keep in mind, if you disable the wallet feature, that will force you to enter your passcode before you can use Apple Pay, which again is probably a good idea, but maybe a slight inconvenience. All right, so last is activating Find My iPhone, iPad, and Mac. So by default, all of your Apple devices come with a Find My whatever Apple device that you have app, which can be really helpful for keeping track of that device. The app allows you to see where your device is on a map in case it gets lost or stolen. In the case that your iPhone is stolen, you have the ability through the app of erasing all of your data remotely so that you can keep all of your personal data secure. You should have had the option to activate this feature whenever you first set up your iPhone. But if not, you can go and turn it on in the iCloud tab in the settings menu. Alright guys, that's it for this one. I hope these tips help you keep your personal data on your iPhone safer. As always, keep it locked right here to iDrop News, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.